Hello friends, today we will show you how you can derive the equation for forward kinematics of 2 degrees of freedom robot. So before that we already covered the concept of forward kinematics and inverse kinematics in previous lecture. So particularly difference or exactly difference between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics. Forward kinematics is a process to get coordinates of end effector from given angle of all joints and in case of inverse kinematics or inverse kinematics is a process to get all joint angles from given coordinates. So this figure shows exactly forward kinematics of two degrees of freedom robot. This is the link number first okay link number first link number second this is the joint number first or exactly position of joint number first p x comma y this is the exactly position of joint number second so you have to find out unknown position of end effector p x comma y p x comma y is the unknown position of end effector where l1 this is the l1 l1 is the length of link number first okay l2 is the length of link number second then theta 1 theta 1 is the angular displacement or angle made by link number first to the horizontal then theta 2 theta 2 is the angle made by axis of link number first and axis of link number second theta 2 and p x comma y is the position of end effector in space okay so you have to find out Cartesian coordinate or exactly coordinates of end effector in three dimensional space means p x comma y So this is the simply line diagram of two degrees of freedom robot So first of all you have to find out exactly coordinates of or x coordinate and y coordinate of joint number first This is the joint number first so you can find out x coordinate of joint number first in x coordinate or x component how you can find out x component of joint number first or link number first so you have to consider uh, for x coordinate cos theta or cos so uh, you can directly find out x component x is equal to l1 cos theta okay so this is the x distance from origin l1 cos theta 1 from origin to joint number first this is the x distance l1 cos theta 1 okay for x or for link number first x is equal to l1 cos theta 1 and for link number second x is equal to l2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 means you have to add one extra angular displacement or l2 cos theta 2 this is the exactly distance of joint number second from the origin so x component how you can consider the x component x is equal to l1 cos theta for link number first x is equal to l2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 for link number second so these are the two x components of end effector okay so adding x component means adding uh, link number first and link number second means equating all x components you have to get or uh, new equation or how you can find out exactly x coordinate so x coordinate is the simply addition of uh, link number first or link number second means addition of these two equations x is equal to l1 cos theta 1 okay plus l2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 means total distance from origin x distance is the total distance from origin this is the l1 cos theta 1 plus l2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 this is the total distance from origin so this is the x coordinate similarly you have to find out new coordinates so or new coordinates y component for y coordinate you have to take your instead of cos theta you have to place or you have to take sin theta for y components so for link number first you can directly consider y coordinate y is equal to l1 sin theta 1 for link number first okay this is the joint number first so you can directly consider y component 
L1 sin theta 1 okay L1 sin theta 1 and similarly for case number second or link number second y is equal to L2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 L2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 and overall y distance from the origin is simply addition of link number first and link number second means addition of L1 sin theta 1 plus L2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 means y is equal to L1 sin theta 1 plus L2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 equation number second so this is the unknown position of n defector in workspace means what is your next step you have to find out exactly coordinates or position and orientation of n defector in three dimensional space with the help of this two components or two equations you can directly find out unknown position of n defector x is equal to l1 cos theta 1 plus l2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 this is the equation number first for x component or x coordinate and for y coordinate y is equal to l1 sin theta 1 plus l2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 this is the equation number second with the help of these two equations you can directly calculate unknown position and orientation of robot end effector this is the unknown position and orientation of robot end effector in three dimensional space so a robot manipulator or robotic manipulator can be modeled as the chain of rigid bodies called as link okay so these are the link number first or link number second uh, so two links and two joints hence one end of chain link is fixed to the base okay one link is fixed to the base and uh, while the other end free to move and you have to find out exactly location of end effector in three dimensional space so to in that forward kinematics the tool or end effector can be programmed to follow the planned trajectory or trajectory planning so as manipulator object in the workspace in order to program the tool motions we must first formulate the relationship between the joint variable and the position orientation or position and orientation of the tool this is called as direct kinematics or forward kinematics means forward kinematics also known as direct kinematics so in that direct kinematics problem or forward kinematics problem given the vector of joint variables means l1 l2 these are the given uh, coordinates or given parameter l1 l2 theta1 theta2 these are the given parameters and you have to find out a known position of end effector p x comma y with the help of these two equations okay means given the vector of joint variables of robotic manipulator in case of forward kinematics given the vectors of joint variable of robotic manipula manipulator determine the position and orientation of the tool with respect to coordinate frame attached to the robot base means joint space uh, there are different joint space parameters means joint space parameters represent the position of end effector from the arm or end of end effector in terms of joint angles okay means theta 1 theta 2 these are the two joint space trajectories or joint space parameters and word space parameters or uh, Cartesian parameter Cartesian space parameters is the or Cartesian space parameter represent the position of robot arm or end effector in Cartesian coordinate system is known as world space coordinate means P X comma Y is the world space coordinate or Cartesian space coordinate means you have to find out the unknown position of end defector or unknown position of robot hand in three dimensional space with the help of these two equations so this is the simply kinematics of two degrees of freedom robot all are familiar with concept of forward kinematics in that forward kinematics or forward kinematics is a process to get coordinates of end effector from given angles of all joints of the robot so you have to consider these given parameters l1 l2 theta1 theta2 l1 is the length of link number first okay length of link number first l2 is the length of link number second 
then theta 1 is the angular displacement or angle between axis of link link number first and horizontal and theta 2 is the angle between axis of link number first and link number second so in case of forward kinematics uh, l1 l2 theta 1 theta 2 these are the given parameters and you have to find out cartesian coordinates or unknown position and orientation of point p x comma y or with the help of these two equations x is equal to l1 cos theta 1 plus l2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 and y is equal to l1 sin theta 1 plus l2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 you can easily find out unknown position and orientation of robot hand in three dimensional space so before that all are familiar with concept of kinematics uh, means kinematics is the branch of mechanics which deals with study of motions of bodies with considering the forces causing the motions or uh, forward and inverse kinematics are the methods to calculate coordinates of end effector and joint angles so in that forward kinematic case the main objective is to find out unknown position and orientation of end effector means find out exactly coordinates of point p x comma y so this is the simply formula or equation by using this equation you can directly find out x coordinate x is equal to l1 cos theta 1 plus l2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 and in case of y coordinates or you can directly find out y coordinates of or y position by using this formula y is equal to l1 sin theta 1 plus l2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 these are the two equations or uh, two or two equations by using these two equation you can find out unknown position and orientation of robot end effector in three dimensional space